Today we're here to install Monsignor Harrington as the rector of the new Coke Cathedral of St. Joseph's. He has been administrator now almost five years, and uh, during this time, uh, he has overseen the restoration of the Coke Cathedral. Now we're at the final stages where we're scaffolding inside. Well, the Spanish-speaking congregation has taken upon themselves to restore the pews, so there's, there's no pews in there. They're all in the basement being done by the mostly Mexican uh, population that we have. They're doing that as a contribution. I'm very happy uh, for today. It is really important, I think, for the people uh, to recognize that they have a pastor, as someone who's like a permanent uh, person there uh, with a greater sense of permanency. So I'm very happy uh, myself, and I'm very happy for the people here at St. Joseph because the parish is really growing and are very much alive. On Monsignor Harrington's first Sunday, there was all of 30 people there at that first mass. I saw Monsignor Harrington as somebody capable of being educated. So I said, you better go get an MBA. As a businessman, he has made it come to life. But more importantly, he's a pastor. Truly, those 30 have grown to some Sundays more than 600. With a very vibrant Spanish-speaking community and two other masses for the English-speaking people. When you've got a parish that has been struggling um, and money is not rolling in, it's good to have somebody at the helm who actually has a, a mind for business. I think the success of the parish is due in large part to his leadership. He preaches very well, and I think he connects with the people. He preaches very well on, on sin, and that's something that I think we all, we all struggle with. He doesn't present himself as somebody who has all the answers, uh, and so homilies are challenging and stimulating. He's also just kind of a regular person. I like to say uh, congrats to Monsignor and that I see him also like a, a father to me. And he's always been helping me, so... I mean, there's, some, there's a lot of words to describe how, how many things I want to say to him, but I would say that Monsignor is very special to me. And so I am very, very grateful to all of you uh, for the many sacrifices uh, that you make each day to come to church, to live your faith, uh, you are a great sign of encouragement to me, and I love you all very, very much. God bless you. I'm uh, very proud of uh, my son, Kieran, my senior Kieran, Harrington. Uh, Kieran became what he wanted to be since he was a little boy, a priest. And uh, his grandfather, uh, Joseph, is looking down from heaven and is very proud of him also. We're looking uh, today to thank the people who have, you know, gathered around now, the new members of the congregation. So uh, I think this is really a community project, and I think the parish has a great future.